PIP is a very mobile system. Uh, the camera can have batteries, the laptop can have batteries, and therefore you can pretty much go anywhere you like. Um, this could be a trauma relief uh, addition to a field hospital. Um, this can be a, uh, a cubicle on an exhibition stand. And this is just an a, a off-the-shelf um, cabin uh, which you can buy. And because it's white, you don't even need to have any adjustments. You can just use that central column to, um, uh, obviously, now we're talking full spectrum lighting. As such, I haven't heard of full spectrum lights that operate from, um, uh, you know, without using electricity. But we, I recently did some uh, cases in a uh, in a situation in New York, and I just bought one of those table lamp full spectrum lights, which worked really well. And um, that doesn't take so much power that you couldn't put it on a car battery in an inverter. So, I mean, I think we do have complete mobility with the technology. Okay. Now, that's what you see when you have the PIP pointed at the wall without anybody there. And it's very important to take this picture every time you see a client. So you know what the room looks like without somebody standing there. And these bands are the over-accentuated gradations of light intensity that I was talking about. So the brightest point is that point there where the light is hitting. You see behind you, there's some lights hitting the wall. You can see four particular points where those halogens are hitting the wall most brightly. Yeah? That would be the equivalent of this point. And these are the gradations as we move away from that central point. So what's interesting is that, put it this way, you can put the light straight like this on a stand and then you get a lovely oval pattern in these gradations of light and someone stands there and they go, oh wow, look at my beautiful aura. <laughs> and then they wander off and it's still left there on the wall. <laughs> so you've got to realize that this is not the aura of anything. This is the environment. And that's why I like to have the light on the ceiling. It probably looks more oval with that stand light than this. Uh, it, uh, and of course, this is the light source coming from the front. Yeah, but Otherwise, so, if it's from the ceiling, there are horizontal bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, what this is, is with the back lowered. Yeah. That's the technique we yeah. use normally. But the point actually is, is it doesn't matter how you standardize your environment, because people's rooms are all different shapes and sizes. I'm not going to start getting you to build a standardized Faraday Oldfield room. The important thing is to compare the image one with another. Once you've standardized your environment in your place, get 10, ten young, healthy students into your, into your um, room and see how they look. <laughs> 